Now, 13 News. One of the giants of West Virginia's political landscape has passed. He served the Mountain State since the 1950s and believe it or not, was still in office at the time of his death. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more on the life of Delegate Frank Dean. Quite a history, quite a history. A somber day at the West Virginia State Capitol as a legendary lawmaker has died. Wood County Republican Delegate Frank Deem passed away Wednesday morning at the age of 90. Deem was first elected to the House of Delegates back in 1954 and served in portions of every decade since. In total, he served 48 years in the House and State Senate. Frank Deem was praised by Democrats and Republicans alike. It's a, a celebration of Frank's life and his contribution to the uh, people of West Virginia. He's been a stalwart conservative. Well, Delegate Deem is an honor to serve with him. He's a fixture in the legislature, and I was happy to have the opportunity to, with someone with such history, to be able to sit in, underneath the in the chamber with him. Frank Deem made his living in West Virginia's oil and natural gas business. With that industry now booming, fellow lawmakers say Deem's expertise was invaluable on key committees. Not only was he on energy, but he was on judiciary. And both of those committees dealt with all the gas regulations and everything. And in a citizen legislature, you have to have people from an industry. Frank Deem could be passionate in debate. The governor will veto anything we pass. His delegate desk is now shrouded in black, and the House marquee notes his passing and his colleagues mourn. Frank was truly a legend, and he truly loved our state of West Virginia and his beloved Wood County area and all the people he represented. We loved him. We really did. Well, I hope Frank Dean was one of only a handful of lawmakers nationwide will, still serving in his 90s. Delegate Frank Deem sat in the back row of the House of Delegates, the very same area where television reporters and camera operators have to stand. Because of that proximity, some of us got to know Frank quite well. We will miss him and send our condolences to his family, friends, and colleagues here at the Capitol. In Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News. At the time of his death, Delegate Deem was running for re-election. Governor Justice will now have to name a replacement to fill out the remainder of his term in office. Funeral services for Delegate Deem are still pending.